There it is. Got him. There's one, guys. Man, just stuck. <laughs> What is going on guys welcome to my very first video upload on my very first youtube channel savage strike want to go ahead and start off by thanking everybody door didn't close all right <laughs> now really want to start off by thanking everybody for clicking on this video you know there's millions and millions of videos on youtube and you guys decided to click on this one so very much appreciated guys very much appreciated allow me to introduce myself just a little bit i'll keep it short i'll keep it simple my name is Jose. Pretty much, I'm just your average Joe. I go to work, I come home, and I rip lips. <laughs> what else could you ask for, guys? Like, what more could you possibly ask for, am I right? Let me explain what y'all can expect from my YouTube channel. Basically, hands down, just gonna go ahead and put it out there. Challenge videos, guys. That's got to be my, as far as like YouTube fishing goes, that is my favorite content. Challenge videos, bait challenges, Walmart challenges, 1v1 challenges, 1v1v1 challenges. Expect plenty of those, guys, plenty of those. And if you don't like challenges, just go ahead and stay tuned. Not everything's gonna be like that. Sometimes I'll just go out and slap the camera on my chest and see what we can catch with what we got in the old box, you know what I mean? That is pretty much it. I told you I was gonna keep it short and I was gonna keep it simple, so don't wanna take too much time away from the fishing. Let me go ahead and show y'all what I got in store for today's video. Let me show you what I picked up at Walmart this weekend. I got Ozark Trail, three piece, let me get out of this wind. We got the Ozark Trail, three piece mini lure set. So pretty much guys, what this is, three little crankbaits. When I say little, I mean, they're small. I mean, just look at them compared to my fingers, you know? Let me get y'all a little close up on what we are dealing with today. So first one we got here is a little, calling it a grasshopper crankbait. As you can tell, it looks like a little grasshopper with a red eye. Um, grasshopper crankbait, sized for small waters attracting large panfish, mimics real hoppers. See if that little red eye grasshopper will get us anything. And over here we got a mini crawdad oddly colored crawdad but lip crawdad is designed to maneuver through brush and weeds without snagging even with treble hooks even with treble hooks oh my gosh and last but not least we got just your average crankbait um obviously this is the more um i guess regular looking one it it is kind of a bigger bill it might be a little deeper diving one but as you can tell guys it says right there eagle claw hooks now, I know Ozark Trail uh, baits are usually not known for having the best hooks. The Ozark Trail, cheaper brand. I don't know if this is a, like a recent upgrade, you know, but if it is, good for them, good for them. And they just kind of got cheap kind of print. It looks like <laughs> just somebody got a pencil or a pen and just kind of drew their best on there. But yeah, guys, goal for today, catch one fish on each one of these lures. So we're gonna get uh, tied up, rigged up, and uh, I'm gonna rest some lips, y'all. See you out there. Don't go anywhere. And remember, you're watching Savage Strike. Anyways, if y'all can't already hear by the audio, I'm hoping this uh, windsock does its job. The wind is absolutely terrible, but we are here. We're ready to start grinding on the Lose Xfinity right here. Put on the Chartreuse Crawdad Mini Crankbait. Pretty cool, it matches with the color of the rod. Over here on uh, the cheaper Shakespeare Ugly Stick, we got the Grasshopper, the Hopper. Let's go start off with the uh, chartreuse crawdad there you go well first impression it just kind of skimmed 
on top of the water, which is great. <laughs> Let's see if it gets any better, I guess. Yeah, there you go. I got it. I guess it's just uh, my fault. Oh, oh my God. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Second cast. Second cast. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Gonna get me with those hooks. All right. Playing a dangerous game here. Playing a very dangerous game. Should I get the pliers out? I will get the pliers out. Oh, man, I don't have them with me. You know what? I'm gonna risk it all. I'm gonna risk it all here. If this thing flops, guys, just know that's the end of me. Come on. All right. Gosh dang, that sucked. There we go. Second cast, guys, on the little chartreuse micro lure. Obviously not a freaking monster, but for this challenge, we'll take it. Sick. All right. Get on out of here. Get on out of here, little Phil. Sweet. In that case, I'm not gonna completely give up on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and set aside the uh, chartreuse crawdad. Guys, that's great, you know. That's great for the challenge. Now we're gonna see what the old, the old hopper can do, huh? With its red eye and everything. All right, let's send it. But anyways, guys, that bass hit it literally like right there. I uh, I saw him come and grab it and everything. This water's pretty clear. I'm not gonna say what time it is, but it just seems like I always catch them around this time, at these ponds at least. We got ourselves a bass on a second cast, so not bad, not bad, huh? Yeah, guys, this, uh, you know how I was saying earlier that crawdad wasn't swimming right, and then I told you it was me, which, in that case, it was, but this time, this thing is swimming terribly. Like, it's just coming to the top. I mean, I don't know if y'all can see kind of the design on it. It's kind of, it's a little weird. It's a little weird, but not going to give up on it just yet. Not just yet. I'm not really a huge fan of this thing so far. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't swim right. Does it smell right? <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, I just, I'm not liking it. It'd be kind of dumb for me to keep trying this thing. It just, it's so terrible. I've actually been um, not talking it down enough, you know? It's actually not, it's a terrible lure. I'm keeping my pole pretty far down, and even way out there, it's just coming straight to the top. Like, you know, it's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go replace this one since I only have two rods. I'm gonna take this one off and I'm gonna put, uh, that little mini crankbait, you know, it came with three. It came with that chartreuse crawdad, which got us a fish. It came with the hopper, which sucks. Mini micro crankbait, guys. Let's see what this puppy's got. Shut her down. We really haven't been fishing very long, so the spot still very well could be pretty juicy. Pretty juicy. Okay, well, for starters, uh, the hooks hooked on together. Hoping that's not a reoccurring thing. Here's the best way to get gunk off of your lure. Yeah! Yeah! That is only if it is an Ozark Trail lure. <laughs> Just kidding. Ooh, ooh. I know I got a sick reaction strike out of that first bass. I don't think I've ever seen any uh, Ozark Trail lure with eagle claw hooks, you know, but is that a fish? Is that a fish? It is. Oh! There's a big old open area on that side, so I'm gonna head that way. Well, we're gonna continue with the little bitty, little bitty crankbait here. Check that out, boys. I am gonna take this off of his lip, but you know, as you probably already know, I'm terrified of these things, man. <gasps> Check out that little beaut. Not bad. Not a bad little fish, huh? 
Oh. Oh. Uh. All right, I deserve that. Man. Got my sock all wet. Chartreuse crawdad, check. Mini crankbait, check, check. Now, guys, I know that I was saying uh, that that grasshopper just looks terrible, right? And it does. I mean, it just doesn't swim right. But it just only seems right that we tie her back on and we try to check all three, right? Not that I'm OCD or anything, but let's try to make it happen. All right, you guys, you're probably wondering why on earth we are back at my house. Well, long story short, basically, that hopper is doing me absolutely no good. The fish just don't even want it. Zero. Zip. Not a I was getting uh, pretty discouraged with it. Um, like I stressed earlier in the video, it swims like crap, looks like crap, smells like crap. But, um, but yeah, like I said, I was getting pretty discouraged, but I came pretty close, guys, to just calling it a wrap because, I mean, it just... Yeah, got out of bed today with a different mindset, different day, different weather. I don't know if I, if I just told y'all, but it's been like two or three days since I started this video and I just have not, absolutely have not been able to catch anything on that thing. So, <sighs> we got a little bit of time before I have to head to work. I'm gonna head down to the ponds down the street. We're gonna tie on that hopper, guys, and we will catch a fish on that hopper, so stay tuned. I am gonna take my little heartburn chewable because I have the worst freaking heartburn, like worse, man, but anyways. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere, guys. We're gonna tie on that hopper and uh, we're gonna try our luck one more time. This is a pretty side. What's up? What's up? Sadie, get back. Get back. I, I don't have a broken tip anymore. You're a dumbass. Sadie Rose, you get your ass over here. Go get her. Sadie, come on. Get over here. Sadie. Oh. She's darting, bro. She's darting. <laughs> come on. Oh, there she goes. Fuck. all right y'all bear with me the wind is pretty bad out here we're out here with uh old haze went ahead and came to a different pond like i said it's pretty windy but i'm not gonna get on the hopper just yet gonna go to my number one go-to right here that's right believe it or not ladies and gents believe it or not this is my number one go-to bait right here for bass don't believe me stick around and find out this summer I know we just got a lot of rain out here, so uh, I don't know how it's really going to affect these fish, but we'll find out. We'll find out sooner or later. This water is usually really clear, and it is still pretty clear, but it's got like a red tint to it. it almost looks bloody, no lie. I don't know if y'all can hear, but there's a bunch of beavers out there, and they're just making all this noise, all this ruckus. What's crazy, guys, is this pond right here. Um, just a few months back, this was completely dried up, completely gone. And it's just surprising now it's all back, you know? There's no doubt in my mind that those bass came back along with it. So just look how much of a bass haven it looks like out there. All that grass, all this, all these places to hide. This is more of a swamp than a pond. I'm gonna come get the car. That way we don't have to walk all the way back. We're going uh, over there to that corner over there, Phil. So. Yep. I know, there's gotta be something right here. Yeah, sometimes, man, I'll be out here and I'll straight up just be thinking I'll have better chance at the duck ponds, you know? Not every time, but some days. <laughs> we gotta catch something, man. Yeah, we won't, we won't waste too much time here. We won't waste too much time. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. I got hit right here pretty close too. There it is. Got him. I knew it. I knew I got hit that first time, dude, and I threw it. Oh, man. Woo! Threw it right there in that same spot that I thought he was hitting it. What did I guys tell you? The jig all day. 
Never fails. Absolutely never fails. Look at that. This is exactly why I kind of wanted to uh, start off with a jig. I'm just not 100%, you know, obviously about that hopper. So we're still going to try it eventually, guys. But, you know, just wanted to just wanted to get some fish under the belt. You know what I mean? But, yeah. We'll count that one. We'll count that one. So pretty much, dude, he hit it right here on the bank. Yeah, he wasn't that deep. Bro, my camera's off. Just kidding. Yeah, laugh at me some more. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Heck yeah, finally. Well, that's my second fish of the day, guys. Uh, I caught one earlier. I didn't really catch it on camera. I really didn't think I was going to catch anything. So I got off at one pond, and turns out I caught one there. Came here, and um, well, there's that one. So hopefully you can catch some more. Y'all don't go nowhere. Just because you just can't seem to catch a fish today. You and me together. All right, we got a wacky, wig, a wacky rig Sanko over here. This guy's going to try to finesse him. It's gonna try to finesse some bass out here. Obviously, it's not the way to go, but hey, you gotta let them do what they want, right? No, that's like a finesse. That's a huge finesse, is my ass. But sometimes that's what that's sometimes that that's what gets it, man. So I would have never, I would have never put down the senko, no matter what conditions. To be honest. What up, playa? All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and move to a different spot. We've uh dookie. Yeah, this spot was poop. But anyways, um, we've only caught one fish. I caught that one fish, and that's it. So off we're gonna, camera. yeah. Oh yeah, and there's one off camera. But we're gonna go ahead and move to a different spot. And <laughs> but anyways, guys, we're gonna head to this new spot. We'll see y'all there. Oh, Bessie taking a drink. Come on out the way, Bess. Oh. Dang, look at the lips over here. Swamp. Oh, check that out. Yeah, we got a pretty heavy rain here, just uh, not last night, but the night before. But this pond over here just overflowing, man. Overflowing. This pond right here always looks super juicy, but it really doesn't produce much. I thought we were, I thought we were toast, uh, pretty much as you probably saw. We were, I mean, what'd you say? We were pretty much stuck. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how you got out of it. I, I thought we were about to call for Hey. That's Damn. crazy. That's awesome YouTube content right there. Come check out the car. Guys, this is a two-wheel drive. It's a, it's a front-wheel drive. Oh, dang. I'm telling you guys, hey, I didn't think we were gonna get out of there. I thought we were done. I thought that was the day right there. But how about it? How about it? Give me some fists. Give me some nuts. All right. Gosh dang, look at that thing. Anyways, I'm sure everybody by now knows the drill. Oh man. You guys know for sure I am ready to get this thing knocked out. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all. This is probably gonna be the last time that I try to fish this this little hopper crankbait. I really didn't want my first challenge to be a bust, but hey, it wasn't 100% a bust, you know. Two of those crankbaits, the, the chartreuse crawdad, 
and the just the miniature crankbait the orange one they actually caught me fish and uh i kept fishing with them actually i caught two more on the chartreuse crawdad so really can't say it was a bust but i just really hate that this hopper ended up not getting a single thing not a single thing as bad as i was uh talking about it once i get it to maneuver how i want this thing has a lot of crazy action look at that thing it's not bad i don't think it's bad i just don't think the fish want it right now you know fishing in this where i'm at fishing's been uh fishing's really hard right now it's really tough fish aren't really out here biting a whole lot but you know how it is we gotta grind either way someone's gotta do it someone's gotta do it all right you guys that's it i don't see a whole lot more sense in fishing this thing if it's just not producing right so huge apology guys but i am gonna take the l on this hopper you know maybe later on if i ever catch anything on it i'll, I'll make sure to update <laughs> but as for now we're gonna call it zero on the hopper guys you already know what i'm pulling out of here had to come back for this face shield man the sun pretty much burning my neck i am a latino therefore y'all probably know that my neck pretty much turns black in the summer we try to prevent that how about it guys not too shabby huh america oh yeah there's some good looking minnows in here good looking bait fish is that a fish There's one. Got him. Got him, guys. Oh, yeah. Not a bad size. I know most of these are, uh, most of them that we've caught today, guys, are dinkish, if I must say. But I would say this one just goes a little over that little dinkish, little dink level, you know. Uh, I hate to say that this is the biggest fish that we've caught, that I've caught today. The fishing here where I'm at has been really tough lately. Um, not getting a whole lot of bites, so any bite that we do get, um, definitely like to savor it. So that grub, guys, the grub. Anytime that I can't catch fish <laughs> for any reason in any of these videos, I'm gonna tie that grub on and we're gonna see what we can catch. It. Peace. Oh, all right, buddy. Go on, get. There it goes. Um. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. That was a sick catch. He, uh, he hit that thing pretty hard. I love it when they hit it hard. Absolutely love it. Let's keep on keeping on, huh? I'm gonna stick to the same spot just for a little bit. See if we can get anything here. Been real slow on that one. Um, whoa. <laughs> what? Y'all see that? Y'all see this? <laughs> what? Oh man, look at this. Check this little guy out. Little white crappie. Yeah, these things, um, usually when they hit, uh, they don't hit very hard. They don't hit very hard at all, but look at the eyes. They look like cat eyes. <laughs> Anyways. Hey, that's better than nothing right there. See ya. Oop. How about that little slab? Turns out it's a little white crappie. Hey, that's something, man, for how hard these bass are being. Oof. All right, any better way to end the day right there? Yeah, just a little bass. It's like number two for today, though, they're tough.
I seen you over there. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to get one of those, man. I want to try one of those out. Really? I'm gonna get one of those. It looks like fun, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys. Ah. We'll make that the last catch of the day. Um, like I said, I know they're a bunch of dinks, but just with how hard everything is, uh, how hard the bass are being, we'll take it. What is that? I hope that's not a cold front coming in. What is up, ladies and gents? So we are back at the house. I say we ended it on a good note. I don't know if that early freeze, that early freeze, that late freeze had anything to do with it, maybe slowing the fish down a little bit. I don't know, who knows? Word around here is that the, um, these places are pretty dead right now. So the fact that we caught any fish, honestly for me, is um, is a thumbs up. So chartreuse crawdad came through for us. So did the crankbait and both of those swam really well. They had good colors. I really liked those a lot. I really enjoyed those, but the hopper, although I did get it to swim, still didn't really produce for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that the hopper wasn't the best bait. Like I said, the fish, they're not really awake yet, I don't think, around this area. So uh, probably a little too early to judge any bait, to be honest. But like always, pulled the grub out and it pulled through for me. Like always, 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 always go to the grub. I mean, that's that's just something I live by. But you guys stick around. We got plenty more videos coming your way. If you like this content, keep coming back. Hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon. That way you get notified every time that we make some new content, you know? Well, I say we, but you know, my brother helped me out a little. I'm gonna head inside, guys. I gotta hop in the shower and everything. Remember, you watch a savage strike.